Oh Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making a charm chandelier and I had to make 15 for a wedding order that I needed to be filled. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. To start off, I'll be working with three packs of the clear shower curtain rings. And these you could use them open or closed, but I'll be using them closed. And they also come with an interesting design on the side. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Start off, I'll be working with four shower curtain rings and I'll be gluing them together in a straight row. I'll have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. I will also keep applying extra glue in between the spaces as I go for a better hold. I repeated the same steps with the shower curtain rings until I was satisfied with the pattern that I was looking for. I know I was MIA for a whole week, but this was a big order to fill and when you don't see me post for a week, it's because I am working on a big project for a client. For this design, I ended up using 16 shower curtain rings. Don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms linked below. I will also be making a smaller size one and I'll be starting off with 3 shower curtain rings. I ended up making two of the smaller size for each chandelier and keep in mind that I made 15 of the large size and 30 of the smaller size. So I'll be using self-adhesive large iridescent gemstones and these are self-adhesive but I'll be applying them using hot glue in between the spaces. In the spaces in the center, I'll be applying smaller size gemstones. I repeated the same steps on both sides. I also repeated the same steps on the smaller sides. For all DIY requests, follow me on Instagram. I'll be using strong black foam board and a 12 inch platter and I'll use the platter to get my half shaped circles on each end. The color of the wedding is black, silver and white so this is why I'm using black foam board for the top base of the chandelier. I use my long ruler to connect the half shaped circles. Next I'll be using this 5 pack metallic silver square cake boards and I'll be using 3. 
Next, I'll take it and place it on top of my cutout and then I'll mark my sides and then I'll go back with hot glue to attach the cake board. I will also be repeating the same steps on the sides. You may also use mirror reflection paper. Once I was done, I flip it onto the back side and cut to shape. Once I was done, I placed my charms on top to make sure I have enough spacing. Once I was satisfied with my placement, I'll be making the holes in the center part of the boards. To make the holes round and bigger, I'll be using a large skewer and I'll be placing it through the center and pulling it out through the back side. Next, I'll take my X-Acto knife and I'll start making small grooves and I'll be making four on the top and four on the bottom side and on the sides as well. Once I was done, I flipped it onto the back side and glued on two large painter sticks, not covering the holes. And this will help with making the board stronger and when it's time to hang the chandelier. Once it was dry, I'll be painting the wood part with black acrylic paint. Once it was dry, I used my hand drill to pre-drill holes on all four corners on the wood and you will want to do this before you go any further. Later on, I'll be using these hooks to screw on the wood. So I'll be using acrylic crystal beads and these come with adjustable links and I'll be using 17. Next, I'll add a drop of hot glue on each groove and then I'll apply my links and I'll keep repeating the same steps for every groove. You may already have seen this step being used on another chandelier that I made and I'll have that DIY video linked below. Next I'll be using fishing line and I'll be using this to hold my charms and all I did was tie it on and pass it through the bottom side through each hole and then I hold it in place while using a large paper clip and gluing it down. I placed the larger size charm in the center and the smaller ones on the sides. Next I'll be using this large poster board frame and all I did was take it apart and just use the plastic shield. Next I cut it in half two sides and now I have two shields. Next I took one of the shields and I glued on the front side on the edge and then I'll glue the next one on the back side to connect them both together and this will make a beautiful clear lamp shade to my chandelier cover up the edges I glued on small gemstones I also glued on single gemstones on the shield spread out hang my chandelier I use plant hanging chains spray paint on metallic silver and I also use for lighting two LED remote touch lights 
important here is the finished look. This is a stunning and crystal clear beautiful chandelier and it was a challenge to get 15 done but I got them all done and shipped it right to the bride. Before I take on any big orders for a client, I always provide a demo for approval and yes, she was in love with all the chandeliers. This will be for an evening wedding and with all the shimmering and the perfect lighting, it will bring that extra glam to that wedding. The chandelier can be used for other events including your home. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.